Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Blue Collar Shock. Again, we are doing the Spirit of the Week, and for this week we got... Fabian, as always. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and joining us this time... Tiberius. Tiberius. It's like some wolf shit right there. Oh yeah, right. Alright, so we're going to jump right into the Spirit of the Week. We've been continuing on with Devil's River. This makes week four? Week four, week yes. Four. This is week four of five for the month of January, so... Uh, I'm excited for this one, man. You said mm -hmm. that you had tried it and it was pretty good. Yeah, from, from I had a, I remember having a sample of it over at Costco, and this what this one sample led me to, hey, fuck it, we're gonna do a whole month of Devil's River. Right. So. Right. So now I, I would say you've probably had enough time from that time of the sample to now to kind of give a a, a non biased opinion based off of what we're gonna drink here. As yeah. Because I think it was sampled. I think it was right before Christmas when I sampled it. Yeah. Okay. So you've had plenty of time then. So yeah. All right. All right. So we're well, we're gonna get to it. So the spirit of the week this week is Devil's River Agave Bourbon. Sounds like some Mexican shit, right? I know there. that's what I'm saying. Like when I think agave, I think tequila. Yeah. yeah. Same. So this has the same fucking... Oh, no. Actually, this one's different. Okay. Yeah. So just when you thought we had topped ourselves with our award... Our, with our last award-winning bourbon, we infused it with all-natural 100% Blue Weber Agave for a sinfully smooth expression like you've never experienced before. I don't know, man. Sucking dick's pretty... pretty uh, <laughs> Pretty smooth expression. Uh, anyways, so uh, kissed with agave nectar, this tasty bourbon is crafted to provide a smooth and slightly sweet finish. Just like our other spirits, you can enjoy it any way you'd like. Neat, on the rocks, or on your favorite cocktail. So, let's see. We all know how Fabian likes to get down. Yeah, you know, who's <clears throat> nothing like sucking on a big-ass green weenie, bro? Well, you know, we do have some green ones. Yeah, we do, right? Let's see. It's not bad, by the way. Is it not? So, <clears> so <throat> we have a new beer, guys. As you all know, we typically drink Shiner for the most part on here. Fabian has brought out the sea salt and lime, which I've never tried. I haven't tried it yet, yet. This smells like a fucking tequila. <laughs> Bro, this smells like a fucking I'm tequila. I'm just telling you, when I hear agave, I think tequila. This doesn't smell like a bourbon. It's weird. Yeah. It smells like a tequila. Yeah, I, I don't remember what it sure smells like. Yeah, it smells like a tequila. It does smell like a tequila. What the fuck? I can't stop smelling it. I'm so... All right, well, let's start pouring it up so we can right. really get some I'm, I'm so fucking... I'm, I don't, I'm perplexed. I don't, I don't know what to think. All right, so before we take the shot, what are you guys' initial, like, your hypothesis? What do you think this is going to taste like? I think it's going to taste good. Probably a little bit, maybe more on the interesting side, just because it has the agave. Uh, I've, I've never had a bourbon with an agave, so yeah, uh, I'm extremely interested because the smell itself just already yeah, it's, smells. It's, 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 you smell that like the tequila smell. Yeah, right? you know, like when I think agave, I think of like that uh, tequila my grandpa brought back from Mexico. Yeah, and that shit, that shit was really good. I'm not gonna lie, How you pouring it in the shot bottle, kind of. You can smell. You can smell it. more it's now. It's, it's usually what happens when after we pour it, you can smell even more of them. Like, yeah. All right, you yeah, ready, boys? All right. Salut. Right, salut. Salut. I like that. Mm-hmm. I Me too. really like that. It's smooth. I like that. I like that. Now time for the beer. Yeah, dude. Holy fuck. That is... Wow. Ooh, that's good, too. That beer is really good. I remember when Costco was doing, like, a whole line mm -hmm. of these Devil Rivers for, like, the uh, taste test. Yeah. That's, that's how we found it, because we were at the liquor store in Costco, and my wife did the coffee one, and then I did the agave one. And then we're like, man, this shit's really fucking good. And fuck it, for this year, we're going to do a whole month. So that's what we decided to do this one. But Wow, man. that's this... I, Okay, I will give this to Devil's River, the company themselves. When they make a description for their bottles, they're very fucking accurate. They're extremely accurate. You know what I'm saying? So for the, because like, okay, so for the ones that we've had, like that were, weren't necessarily like just a straight bourbon. Like the coffee one, really fucking good. The yeah. coffee one was, dude, it, it was 
I think I legitimately want to buy a bottle and just like make coffee and put that in my coffee. It's <laughs> that fucking good. It, it is. It, it is, is extremely that fucking delicious. Good. And this agave, dude, it, it does. It has like a very sweet like aftertaste. Mm-hmm. I do taste a bit like a, of a tequila taste, but it's yeah. not overpowering. Mm-hmm. It's it's I I want to. It feels like a hybrid, like a yeah. hybrid bourbon. Like they did mix some tequila in there, but. Ultimately, overall, dude, the smell's great. The fucking taste is phenomenal. And just the overall, like, smoothness of the finish, mm-hmm. it doesn't make, like, I can't feel it in my nose. It's not like I'm like, oh, fuck, <coughs> shit. I got almost none of it in my nose. It's like all in my mouth, all, like, all my palate. I can taste all I don't it. feel the alcohol in my nose, but on my tongue, I can I can smell and I can, like, just what I was smelling is what I can taste. And yeah. It's really fucking good, dude. And it didn't last that long either. No, no it didn't. No, it was very and, like, it really, it, it made me want more. I was like, man. No, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I, 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 like, finished, I was like, man, I, I kind of want some more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, that was really good, man. Um, it really was. Okay, so Aroma, where do, you, where do you rank it? So on the show, we rank things one to five mags. One being the worst mag, five being the best. So we we have had some that were like an empty mag. Yeah, empty mag. <laughs> Not that bad. Like mag well, full of blanks. <laughs> like this is worthless. The ones that you were trying to uh, trade me for. Oh yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Yeah, that that no, that that was the address of the ATF. That's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> so um, okay, so aroma for me, it's really spot on. It smells really good. It's yeah. it's. I have to give it like a five. That aroma was just, just delicious. If that, yes, that, that, that shit was an air freshener. I'd buy it. Yeah, same. It's uh, I'd, I'd have to give it the same. The aroma is really, it's really sweet. It's unexpected. It's an unexpected twist on the bourbon for it to smell the way that it smells. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely like I want to smell that all the time. Like right now. For me, not being a big bourbon drinker. This is really deceptive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, what have I been missing out on? Because <laughs> now I, I kind of, I know what tequila tastes like, but bourbon, I've, I've never really gotten a palate for, for bourbon. Yeah. So where would you rank it? One to five mags for just, just, yeah, I mean, based off of your limited or no experience, if you had to, you know, compare it to anything you maybe might have had in the past, I'd give it probably about a four. A four? Okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So, taste. Mm, I'd say 4.5, 4.7. It's, really? It's Why? almost perfect for me. It's almost perfect. Okay. All right. So, what what is it about the taste that doesn't make it a five? I don't know. That's the thing. I want to give it a five, but I feel like I shouldn't. Hmm. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to give it a five. I really like the flavor. Wow. Like, for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really fucking good. Like, just, it, it's, because when I drink, when, when we've been drinking, I, I almost try to look at it in the perspective of, like, food. Like, the, the, umama, the umame of the flavor, like, it just, the way it just sets on my tongue, mm-hmm. it's just really fucking good. Like... It, I like the sweet flavor and, and finish behind it. And I like the fact that it's so fucking smooth. Because the one we had prior was that barrel strength. Oh, holy yeah. fuck. That was rough. It's a good thing he wasn't here for the barrel strength because he'd be like, what the fuck? I ain't ever drinking barrel strength. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so overall flavor. Yeah, dude, flavor aroma gets a five. So just my overall four, it's going to be a five. Out of really? all the ones that we've had, yeah. Um, the, the coffee for me was also a five. So I think... Out of their standard bourbon, I like their flavored shit a little bit better. Like the coffee, the agave. Just, they're very generous with yeah. the way that they're, you know, flavoring these bourbons. Because there are certain ones that be like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, like a, a birthday cake vodka. And this is like, you know, there's like a slight hint of maybe some fucking, like, sprinkles on there. But ain't no cake in this bitch. <laughs> so, you know. You get the crumbs. <laughs> right. Goddamn. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, it's it's good. I like it. Yeah. I really do like it. How was the taste for the for the coffee? Oh, it's fantastic. Coffee, coffee was amazing. Okay, so so 
like I said, they're very accurate with their description. It says like hints of dark chocolate and like all this yes. like co- the coffee flavor stuff that it really does taste like coffee. Yeah. And like I think he had what Dutch Bros coffee. Yeah, Dutch and Bros he coffee. Poured a good what almost two shots in it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, you yeah. couldn't even taste it. it just no, tastes like it coffee. It tastes like shit fucking coffee. It's, so it's, like, yeah, it's, like, yeah, give, like, give me a shot. Yeah. Because it's it's really fucking good. It is delicious. Yes. Yeah, we are right. So with uh. Yeah, with you not really being a bourbon person, I would not recommend you doing the barrel strength. Jesus, that barrel strength. Is strong. That's uh, what is that? How much? How much proof uh, is that? One hundred and seventeen. Yeah, it's one hundred and seventeen proof. It is fucking. It's it's a beefy boy. Yeah, it's some strong motherfucker. Yeah, the coffee one's really good. We really enjoyed that. Yes, one. I thoroughly enjoyed that yeah. one. Yeah, especially like for our guest of that day. That day was Drew. He's not a coffee person. He doesn't like cold coffee, and I had it cold, and he loved it. Really? Yeah, yeah and he was like, D- I don't like cold coffee, but I want more of that. Yeah. The smell was like, if you get the agave and you just take it out, and then you just add coffee. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's basically what it is. And it's it's really good. So, for me, I fucking hate dark chocolate, but something about that dark chocolate, like, aftertaste, I really liked it in this. It really complements the coffee itself. I don't get coffee, but <laughs> really, really, really? I, I fucking I thought it. I was like, oh, hey, this is based on coffee, man. It's a good taste, though. Yeah, very good taste. Yeah. So overall, what we're rating agave? Mm. Wow. I'm giving agave four point seven total. Five. 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 It's getting a five. So, so it, would, would this at the end at the end of the year would this be considered in your top five? Potentially. Potentially. I mean, granted, we only fucking yeah, started the year. Started, but so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. You like, can see this being Good in. contenders for top five, the agave and the coffee for me. So I really like. So we're starting the year off pretty good. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, barrel strength was an ass whooping. <laughs> I did, I, we did not deserve that. But I'm also really holding out hope for the, uh, the, rye. the rye that we got. Because I love me some rye whiskey. Yeah. I love that shit. So, um, yeah, no, definitely a five. What would you rate it? To? Probably about a four. Four? All yeah. over? All over. It's still a pretty good fucking rating. Yeah, it's a really good For rating. a $30 bottle. It's... Well, considering you don't, I mean, where I you're at with your experience for bourbons, that's still a really good fucking rating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that just speaks to the quality of what yeah. it is. The product that Devil's River, you know, produces and puts out, that's, that just speaks a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's really good. Yeah, I really definitely. Do. If it had a lower score, I wouldn't think about drinking bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so, mean, we've had quite a bit. Yeah, we've had we've had quite a bit. <laughs> some of them are kind of misses. We've had some really good ones. I'm excited for next month too, though. Oh yeah, me too, man. Next month, next month is gonna be exciting. Next month's gonna be fantastic. Fucking lead slingers whiskey, man. It's the uh, same guys that make uh, Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah, Matt, really. Matt, yeah, yes. Matt Best. Yeah, that's oh, their wow. that's yeah. their uh, their liquor line. Yeah, their uh, their rye whiskey was the first one we did for the show. Yeah, and he got it for me as a housewarming present, so we opened up with that. And at the end of the year, we did like our top five, and for both of us, it was the number one. It was the number one. Wow. Absolutely, yeah. dude. It's some of the, it was that it's good. the best just rye whiskey, just in general whiskey that I've I've had. And I've had I've had a lot of whiskeys, dude. I've had some really good Japanese whiskeys. I've had yeah. a bunch of really good shit, but dude, that shit, just the overall quality of that rye whiskey is just fucking up above and beyond, dude. Hmm. So, yeah, when that's why, like, because I got a bottle for myself, and, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, we're, we're moving in this new house. I was like, I might you get him a bottle of fucking whiskey. <laughs> yeah. So they were like, what do you want for your uh, house in prison? Like, guys, I don't fucking know. I really don't know. And he brought over that bottle. I was like, I'm not saying no to this. Yeah. So it's really fucking good. Yeah. That was a great way to start the show. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. uh, So agave rye whiskey. Not uh, not the rye. Agave whiskey. I think I fucked up bourbon. all bourbon. I bourbon, fucked up that whole thing. My bad. <laughs> Devil's River Agave Bourbon. My brain went too mush a second ago. Sorry. <laughs> Talking about all these other bottles. Um... Yeah, very highly ranked. Uh, fucking 
Blue Collar Shock approved. Fuck. Yeah, it really is. It's I, I definitely approve of this. Two yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. Ebert, Ropert, two thumbs up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are ever into uh, some tequila, but you want something a little different, agave bourbon. Devil's River is really mm. fucking delicious. It's yes, good. it's very. I do good. taste the tequila flavor in it, but it doesn't. I think it's just the agave. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the probably agave that's that, in that, it. Yeah. That taste of the agave. It's good. And they do. They could have fucking lied it out their asses and just be like, "Hey, we're gonna get the tequila drinkers to drink the shit. Let's say it has agave in it." But they actually put the shit. No, in. they they stayed true to it. Like I said, they were very. Uh, they were very generous with, I guess, think they got be inside of it because they oh, could have, yeah. they could have really just been, been like, dicks. yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, we'll put a little bit in there. We don't need. need. It's just, it's a good quality. Yeah, I will, I will say that. So, with that, guys, we're gonna have a little bonus. Uh, not fully spirit of the week, but we have a guest bottle on. I think it's the first guest bottle we've had. Yes, first guest bottle we've had. First guest bottle. Hell yeah! Look at that Tiberius fucking for the win. Through. And I'm excited for this, dude, guys, because. <laughs> <laughs> this shit smells like fucking peanut butter, and I love me some peanut butter. And that's that's a scary thing because when he handed me the bottle, he's like, "Dude, smell it." I was like, "Okay, all right." I'm kind of scared, dude. When he told me the name of it, when we were talking, I was like, "Yeah, he's gonna bring over this bottle called Screw Screwball." I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> like that sounds scary, bro. Like, why? Uh, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> right. So then when I popped open the bottle, and I was like, "It smells like straight fucking like I just opened up a fucking." jar of jiff yeah it's like it, oh, peanut butter yeah i love the fucking description down here to the misfits black sheeps and screwballs well, hey. on the top it says to the screwballs oh yeah it does yeah that's pretty dope hey well hey we're oh definitely... you know you know for those of you with you know peanut allergies just does contain peanuts it does say it contains peanuts <laughs> oh dude look inside the bottle look there's like a little cow in the inside is there really yeah look oh shit there is it's you can really tell the quality of of that just by the bottle the inside print and then yeah. the, on the glass yeah how it i has bet it that written. that yeah. wasn't that wasn't cheap yeah that was no cheap. absolutely not like to make glass in that manner, mm -hmm. dude. It that takes a lot of process. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right. So, y'all getting a bonus uh, spirit of the week. So it's our first bonus week. I'm excited. We're gonna get fucked up. Not too fucked up. And then plus we got you know two fucking new beers for us to drink and shit. Uh, maybe I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was at the it's store beer. and I was like, man, dude, I really want to fucking. I want to bring some beer. Because Nathan always provides a beer, you know. I brought beer a couple times, but you know, majority of it is on Nate. So I was like, yeah, let me let me lighten this load a little bit. So then that's when I ran into that that tr this you know fucking trail L. I was like, this looks interesting. I want some. And then I was like, oh hey, we've also never had this. Fuck it, I'm buying a I'm buying a six pack of that too. And I came home, Bruce like. What are you doing with all this beer? It's like, it's for the show, it's man. It's not even that much beer. We went through a whole keg in one show. Yeah, we did. Damn. Yeah, that little yeah, black that, thing. That was a... Oh, uh, this black thing that we just put the notes oh. in. That was a that was a mini keg. Uh, the, the Shiner Holiday Cheer. And that stuff's really good. It is. And then out of the keg is even better. Oh, it's fantastic out of the keg. It was so good. His ass went and bought another one and didn't share with me. Even pouring it out of the bottle, it like has like a slight... I know I'm talking ever so slight hint of alcohol, but it's still peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Like ninety percent peanut butter. Dude, like, I can smell like a ten percent alcohol. I, I, I can see myself being a total alcoholic and like pouring a cup, <laughs> cup like a shot of this in my jar of peanut butter, mixing that shit up, and then just make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I love peanut butter that much, bro. You have no uh, idea. Like, yeah. He's like, 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 he's, like, like, he's like a dog. Like you put the peanut butter in your eyes. I will lick it off. I'm so bitch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Doritos commercial. I guess it was an old one, but they like put their finger in this hole and they take it out and the finger's clean. And they're like, <laughs> what, glory what else do you put in there? <laughs> they're like only fingers and like the guy sticks his finger in there and it's in the next room. And there's this guy typing on his computer and he's like, oh. And he like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that. Oh my god, oh, that's fucking man. hilarious! I'm like, uh, and the guy was like, "You only put your fingers in there." Like, yeah. like, he was insinuating yeah. something. <laughs> oh man! All right, y'all ready for this? Yeah, hey, fuck let's yeah. do it. <clears throat> salute, salute, salute. Fuck. Whoa. Fuck. Whoa. 
I'm going to go put this in my peanut butter, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess you're going to have to go buy a bottle. I might have to, bro. That shit was good. Wow. That is really good. And that's because I have that screwball. There's another one. It's like an horchata liqueur. Oh, my God. And I like to put that with my coffee. Oh, Ooh. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yo, that is fucking delicious. So, quick, quick overall view. What would you give it? Five. Five? For real? Five. Right off the bat, five, yes. huh? Jesus Christ. Look. Peanut butter is an essential food group. Okay? It is, and like, it is. like I love, I love peanut butter on a bunch of shit. Like you know, dude, fucking classic shit like peanut butter and jelly. But you know what? Even better by itself, just a peanut butter sandwich. Oh yeah, just a peanut butter sandwich. But you know what you do with the peanut butter sandwich? You fucking toast the fucking bread. Yes. You put a little bit dude, of butter. You put, you put butter on the fucking thing. Then you put the peanut butter. Dude, dude I'm whole. I'm telling fuck. you, my favorite thing is toasted tortilla. Up, put some peanut butter and some honey and roll that bitch up. Mm, yes, it's like a fruit roll up, but. So much better. Yeah, dude. Or a fucking peanut butter honey banana sandwich. Oh, yeah. I like bananas, but okay. Fuck you. <laughs> dude, this is okay, so the last night we were cooking s'mores, right? These fuckers over here. I think it was more Brie. Maybe. It was Brie. So, so, <laughs> so he was like, so he provided all the s'more stuff, right? And he's like, if you guys want to, you know, bring anything else to roast over the fire, you know, bring it. So we brought some weenies, you know, but bought some like, you know, like the fucking $2 pack of like the fucking Franks. Mm -hmm. So roasted some weenies, roasted some fucking s'mores. And then Brie was like, uh, she, she brought a bag with her. So she had her alcohol in the bag, uh, her vodka. And uh, yeah, she puts her fucking vodka in a water bottle. So she has her, her, her vodka. And then we're sitting there, and I'm looking at the bag. I'm like, why the fuck are there bananas in the bag? And she's like, so we can roast them. I'm like, it's just going to turn into a hot, goopy mess. Like, what the fuck? No, it's going to caramelize. No, that's not how caramelizing works for bananas. So needless to say, I fucking sat there for like three minutes trying to fucking roast this banana. Trying fucking take it out. It was like, yeah, I was like, I ate it, and I was just like, it's like warm on the outside, but the inside's so cold. She's just like... Well, he was worth a shot. I was like, no, it wasn't. You fucking, <laughs> you made me eat two bananas for nothing. Off topic, you were talking about the um, toasting bread and then putting butter on it yeah. for peanut butter sandwiches. Yes. I saw this on, I guess it was TikTok, but they actually toasted bread before they made French toast. Yeah, I have heard about that too. I heard about that video. Dude, I had my wife do that for me, and it's like... Sometimes it can get a little bit soggy mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. with the eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But putting it in the toaster and then dipping it. Really? Oh, my God. Dude, yeah. because, like, French toast, like, okay, so, like, when it comes to, like, the order, because it's, like, you got French toast, you got waffles, and you got pancakes. Mm -hmm. That's my order. When it comes to breakfast, like, bread-ish products, it's fucking French toast at the top, 100%. Then it's waffles, and then it's pancakes. Mm -hmm. And my pa my issue with pancakes is that they get too, if you don't eat them fast enough, it just turns into like a fucking paste. Yeah, I don't like sure. that. Waffles, if you make them just right and they're nice and crispy, with that fucking with that uh, with the syrup, dude. Oh, dude, and you put a little bit of butter, melt it, mm, great. But nothing beats fucking French toast. Oh, no. yeah. Period. Somebody and, got on to me and they were like, it's not French, it's Freedom Toast. It's Freedom Toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fuck it. If it's Freedom Toast, that's fine. Either way, this form of toast is see, superior. See, no, how you know it's Freedom Toast is that you make your, your French toast or Freedom Toast that way. And then as you're eating it, you're shooting off a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I like well, you to have do? This in the background. Yeah, yeah I like to do that like to take my French toast and then I'll put fucking bacon on my French there you toast. Go. And then you just fucking drown that bitch in fucking syrup, dude. Dude, syrup and bacon? <laughs> fucking great. Dude, yeah. Yeah, syrup is I remember <laughs> accidentally getting it on like a half, one of the big breakfast half meals when I was little. Yeah. Like the syrup just went everywhere and I was just like, ugh. <laughs> the try, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, dude, syrup on like scrambled eggs. It's good. good. Yes. It's good. Oh it's so good, dude. Well, we're Americans. We like sugar on everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like, well, see, so like, there are certain people, like, and I'm one of them. I do, like, I remember my sister, dude, when we were younger. Like, so when we have eggs in the morning, right? <clears throat> I love chile on my shit. I love chile on fucking everything. She, when we were younger, she put ketchup. I'm talking Ugh. around the goddamn eggs in ketchup. I'm like, that's disgusting. I'm literally going to throw up. 
you're you're disgusting. My, my, my taste buds have changed because like I can't do it. I can't do. Ketchup I, I used to be okay with it when I was young, <laughs> but like now like I can't do it. I hate wasting food. I fucking hate wasting food. So like when the kids would eat like their eggs and shit and have some ketchup on, I'm like. Eggs are expensive as fuck right now. Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to eat this shit. And I'm like, I used to kind of like this back in the day. Ugh. It's gross. It's so gross. So, oh, you know, never so we need to wrap up. So yeah, we're, you're right. we're way far. We're way far. <laughs> we're going to wrap up this episode, guys. I might be cutting some shit out and moving things around in the editing process. Um, so for Spirit of the Week, uh, Agave Bourbon, fucking damn near five, almost fucking yeah. across the board so if you Delicious. like average it like 4.7 fucking four four or five like 4. it's 5. gonna be like a 4.5 4.6 yeah overall so then that's a really good for 30 bucks guys you can't go wrong that's Fuck no it's fucking delicious 30 and bucks cheap. yeah it's really good so. i don't even know what this is or what this price at but goddamn this so yeah screwball peanut butter whiskey fucking delicious it is fantastic I don't, I don't care what the point is, the price point is at fifty bucks. I'll still buy it. Yeah, same. What's the price point for that? I I don't know. I'll sip it every once in a while, but I bought that maybe about two months ago. Oh okay. So, well, we're gonna have to fucking do some research on that because I might have to. Ask I, I want a bottle of that in the house. I'm gonna have to ask Kay. I actually got it at Costco. Costco. Real? So, I no, might have seen it, wait. motherfucker. You better buy some. It it might have been at like a seasonal thing, probably. Because Costco does swap out their shit a lot. That Spirits place that's right there off of uh, Loop 289. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm talking about. We'll have to go. We'll have to go peek it, dude. Because. Yeah. Specs. Uh, he uh, he is no longer doing business with Specs at this point. Fuck, fuck Specs. I still do. I'll still go to Specs. So if I can find that at Specs, I'll buy a bottle. No. Trust me. I, I need to take you to Woody's. K will hook you up. Yo. Who is he's. All right, if he will hook me up, that's fine. If he okay. does beer too, because if he, he can get beer. me Asahi, oh, I'm sure you can. I'm, I'm about it. I'm sure you can. I love Asahi. So, anyways, guys, <clears throat> we're wrapping up this episode. Uh, follow again on all of our social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We do have our own Discord now, and so the link to that will be down below. Everybody gets to join in. You get to talk about what shit you want us to try, and if you think what our opinions are valid or not, or we're just full of shit. Don't be sending no dick pics in the fucking Discord chat. Yeah, please chat. don't do that, guys. <laughs> We're kind of all in relationships here. So don't do that. Um, my wife is already on it. And she's like, I'm going to see who's going to jump on here. I'm like, I have no control over who's going to be on it. Right. So, anyways, guys. <clears throat> jump on the guys. Chat with us. Let us know what y'all think. Uh, you can also hit us up on all the social medias. Follow Fabian on his Twitch. You already have your new thing set up, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he actually he actually saw the new streaming setup. Uh, he was very impressed. Yeah. Granted, I have four monitors on my desk. I look like I live in the future, but literally two monitors are for work, and the other two are like. I'm for telling you, one day shit. CIA is gonna break in thinking you're hacking the NSA. Yeah, they're gonna be like, oh shit, you're hacking the system. Be like, no man, I'm just trying to fucking give this person back their fees, even though I don't want to. Come on, please don't 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 shoot me. <laughs> hey, right. just shoot me! Don't shoot the cat. <laughs> It's the ATF. They're not going to give a shit about the cat. They're going to have a dog. No. Well, don't fuck with my cat. I'll kill you. Yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. The cat doesn't act like a dog. No, so anyways, like guys, we'll be back uh, with our actual podcast episode after this. And uh, stay tuned. And we're going to have some fun. And keep drinking. Hell yeah. All right. And as always, guys, make love loudly and make war sight only. See ya.